Today we're going to be talking about multiplying probabilities and independent events when the occurrence of one event does not affect the probability of the second event occurring. And we're going to be multiplying probabilities when there's a key word. And honestly, the thing that helped me with this is when you see the word and. Okay? Probability of something and something else. Versus yesterday, the key word that I kept underlining was or. And that was when we added our probabilities. When we're doing and, we multiply. Okay? That's the key thing you need to remember. Okay, our first example. A card is drawn from a standard deck of 52 cards. A spinner with four equal selections of different colors is spun. What is the probability of drawing a jack and the spinner landing on red? So the outcome of the jack and the spinner don't affect each other. And we have a key word in there, and. Okay, so let's do the probability of our jack. Now you need to know that there's, in a deck of 52 cards, there is four jacks. Okay, our spinner landing on red. One out of four possibilities are red, so our answer is one out of 52. Now, dependent and conditional probability. Okay, dependent events. When the occurrence of the first does affect the probability of the second occur occurrence happening. So, the probability of an event of A occurring given that B has already occurred. So, conditional probability is the probability of event A given B. And this is our notation for conditional probability. So, two events, A and B, are dependent. Then the probability that A and B will occur, that A and B. So you find the probability of A first, the first event, and then you find the probability of B, given that event A has occurred. Okay, so our next example. On the Last day of the grading period, three students with the highest average get to pick a prize from the bag. There were three, there was four pairs of sunglasses, five keychains, and six car air fresheners. What is the probability that the first student draws a pair of sunglasses, the second draws an air freshener, and the third draws a keychain? Now think about it. These are dependent because the number of things, the number of items in your bag is changing after somebody pulls something out. So the first item, which was the first student bears sunglasses. Okay, how many total items do we have in there? We have 15 total items. So the probability the first is sunglasses is four out of 15. Now there's one item missing. So there's 14 items left. Okay, probability that A occurs. Now the probability of B, given that A has occurred, the number of events have changed. Um, our second draws an air freshener. So our second was an air freshener. There's six air fresheners. And then now the number of things is again decreased by one. So then our third student has a chi 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 chain, key chain, and there's five keychains. So when we go through and multiply that, we get four out of 91 things. Okay, now finding conditional probability. So finding P, P given A, and it's just a mathematical equation. So you divide both sides by the probability of A. So the probability of A and B happening, given divided by the probability of A, gives me P, gives me B given A. Okay, so this is what conditional probability is. So, A and B are dependent events. The probability of event B occurring, given that A has already occurred, is this formula right here. Okay. 
Okay. A bag contains eight red pencils, six yellow, and five purple pencils. Two pencils are drawn at one time and not replaced. That's key, not replaced. What is the probability that the second, pen, that the second pencil is purple given the first pencil is red? So remember, it's the probability of given the first is red. So the first event is A. So we're trying to find the second is purple given the first is red. Okay, and so what this means is we're doing the probability of first is red and second is purple all over the probability that the first is red, okay? Because this is B, this is A. So A and B all over A. So, whew, all right, here. So we want to find the probability the first is red and the second is purple. So the first is red. So how many total items do we have in our box? We have 19 total items in our box. So I have 19 total items. My first is red, so that is eight. And the second is purple. Second is purple. Because I have 18, I have one less in my box. And I have five purple pencils. Now our first, that given that the first is red, so the first being red, well that is a total of 19 items in our box. Over eight, that simplifies to five over 18. Okay, there are your three lesson questions for the day. Please make sure those three questions are submitted on time.